Framework, a company known for modular laptops, just announced their very first desktop PC, and this has to be one of the coolest looking mini PCs that I've seen in a very long time. And aside from being a pretty cool looking mini PC, it's also packing some serious performance because they opted to use the Ryzen AI Max Plus chip. There's actually two different variants that they're going to be offering, and the whole package is only coming in at 4.5 liters small. I've actually put my pre-order in, and I guess right now Q3 is when these are going to be shipping out. And just to give you an idea of the two variants they're offering, they've got the Ryzen AI Max 385 with 32 gigs of RAM, or the Ryzen AI Max Plus 395 with either 64 or 128 gigabytes of RAM. And one thing to keep in mind with these chips, the RAM is integrated into the APU, so it's non-user upgradable. And obviously, that Max Plus 395 is going to be the more powerful variant, mainly because we've got the Radeon 8060 Si GPU built in. And I've done several videos on another device with this same chip. The GPU, CPU that they have here is absolutely amazing. And that 8060S is actually on par with an RTX 4070 laptop or even the desktop variant of the RX 7600. I mean, and this is a iGPU form factor. And what makes this a modular PC is Frameworks expansion card system. We've got two up front, so you can add several different ports here. USB Type-C, USB-A, micro SD, full size SD, storage, basically a USB SSD, ethernet, or an extra audio port. When it comes to I.O., around back we get two full-size USB-A ports, HDMI, two USB 4 ports, dual display ports, 5 gigabit Ethernet, and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Right now they've got two different side panels you can go with when you're doing the pre-order. They've got a black side panel and the translucent version. Uh, you will have to choose your fan, but during checkout you can actually just skip this and buy one later on if you want to. Optional carrying handle actually looks pretty cool here. And when getting down to the base price here, the Max 385 version with 32 gigabytes of RAM is 1099. Now this is just for the base. Once you start configuring the system, this will raise. The Max Plus 395 with 64 gigabytes of RAM is 1599. And finally, their highest in system, that Max Plus 395 with 128 gigabytes of RAM, $1,999. Show you real quick, we'll just configure one of these. So we'll go with the highest end model here. You can bring your own SSDs if you want to, but we'll go with their cheapest stuff just to see uh, what it comes out to. We'll skip that second SSD operating system. Uh, we'll actually skip this also. CPU fan, we'll go with the Noctua. Power cable, probably have one of these, but uh, it's up to you. Side panel black or translucent we'll do black keep that cost down a bit tiles for the front so we can customize the front you'll need at least 21 of them let's go with the black diagonal that's 14 tiles there we'll go with one pack of those that'll bring us up to 21 tiles and if we move down there are some custom tiles so like the framework AMD Linux Linux Mint Happy Earth Touch Grass and finally, expansion cards for the front. Uh, $9 for USB Type-C, $9 for USB-A, micro SD. Actually, I'm going to go with that micro SD and another USB Type-C up front. And that brings the total cost up to $2,156, which definitely sounds like a lot for a mini PC. But one thing we've been seeing with these new Ryzen AI chips, even something like the HX370, they offer great performance, but the price has definitely been jacked up. And it's no different here with the Ryzen AI Max or the Max Plus. Now again, I did put my pre-order in because I'm really interested to check this thing out. I personally think this is going to make a great little mini PC. Love the look of it. They've already got instructions up over on their website. Easy enough to build, not a big deal for basically anybody to put something like this together. But of course, it does have that premium price tag. Either way, I kind of wanted to make a quick video on this because, you know, I do a lot of mini PCs over here. Pre-order is in for this, so as soon as I can get my hands on one, I will be making a few videos showing performance off. And another thing they mentioned over on their website is this AI Max Plus 395 is a 120 watt sustained TDP with a boost up to 140 watts. Again, I've done a lot of testing on the Max Plus 395, but the highest I've really been able to take it is 90 watts given the device that I've been testing on. 
So it would be really nice to see this thing totally maxed out at 120 with that boost up to 140. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you going to skip this all together due to the price? Are you thinking about putting a pre-order in? Are you going to wait to see the performance? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And like always, thanks for watching.